Hi, my name's Rob Kelly and I'm in full-time practice as a hypnotherapist and psychotherapist here at the Beechwood Doctors' Surgery in Cambridge. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you my easy smoking cessation method. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Why do you want to stop now? How long have you been smoking? That kind of stuff. Um, several reasons. I've been smoking probably since I was 13, 14. What, what five or six years is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Um, and because of my age, you think, well, you get to 40 and you think, no, I'm too old to be doing this. Okay. And now it's just very antisocial to smoke. Okay. What I need you to do today, okay, is forget everything you've ever learned about smoking. Okay? Forget everything you've ever heard about it, forget everything the medical profession's ever told you, and forget everything you already believe about smoking. So it's a, a tall order, okay? But I want you to forget everything. Right. Okay? Smoking doesn't exist. Smoking exists, but I want to forget everything you've been taught about it. Okay? For example, all the reasons you might think you smoke, all the reasons you might think you want to quit, what damage it may or may not do, all that kind of stuff. Right. Okay? Just put it to one side. You don't have to believe what I'm going to tell you, but what I am going to say to you over the next few minutes is going to be a little bit challenging. Okay? So you need to take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt. Right. Okay. All right? Okay. So, what I need to get across to you before we have the hypnotherapy session is really why you really genuinely smoke and what you're genuinely going to get out of it once you've stopped. Okay? For example, there are two main reasons why people find it difficult to stop smoking. Forget all the millions of reasons you think there are. There are two main reasons why you have found it difficult in the past to stop smoking. Okay? The first reason is that you believe it's going to be difficult. Mm. Yeah? Now, you must believe it's going to be difficult because you tried to stop before and failed and that you're willing to come here and pay me £145 to stop. So you're not going to do that just on a whim, are you? So yeah. you must believe it's going to be hard. Yes. Yeah. The second reason that it's difficult to stop, and it is difficult to stop, is that you don't really have a good reason to stop. Now, I haven't even asked you what your reasons to stop are yet, but I can guarantee you that what you don't have is a tangible reason to stop. Do you know what I mean by that? Mm, I disagree. Okay, good. <laughs> I think I have. Good, excellent. I'm hoping you would. Okay, it makes my life, and it makes the video an awful lot better if you yeah, do. Yeah, okay. I think I have. Yeah. Good. Then I want you to tell me now. I want you to list for me all of the reasons you want to stop. Um, well, health. Okay. For is the top one. Okay. Um, monetary ones of ponies and. Okay. Um, I want to be fit, I want to have more money, okay. I spend a lot of money on them. How much do you think you spend a month? On the horse, probably. No, on your smoking. Oh, smoking? Oh, I don't know, I've never actually counted it, but... Um... 15. Find it very, very difficult to build up willpower in relation to saying no and stopping. Is that a fair comment? Yes. Okay. The reason you find it difficult to build up willpower is because the amount of willpower you have about anything is directly related to the incentive you have for doing it. Mm. Okay? And I'll give you another silly example, only because it's easy. If I said to you, I'll give you a thousand pounds to stop smoking, you, try, well, you, you can tell that she's not very impressed. <laughs> yeah? If I gave you a thousand pounds to stop smoking, how much effort would you put in? I'd put a lot of effort in. But it's a grand, isn't it? Yeah. Okay? So what if I, what if I offered you a hundred thousand pounds to stop smoking? You put a bit more effort bit into more effort. it. Okay, and obviously the more I offer you, the more effort you put in. Mm -hmm. And the more motivated you are, because the bigger the incentive. The more reward yeah. you get, the more willpower yeah. you build up. So, you stop smoking, you give up all these good reasons that you smoke, for all these piddly little ones. It's really difficult, isn't it, to build up a lot of willpower. Mm. Yeah? Let me give you an example. Yeah. Two or three deep breaths. So it's not a lecture. There's nothing you have to remain completely alert to. Um, I'm not going to sit here watching you or anything like that at all. Just need you to sit back and just relax. You need to keep your eyes closed and just breathe slowly and deeply. Slowly and deeply. So put out of your mind what you're doing this morning or what you're going on this afternoon or tomorrow or the next day. Just spend a couple of minutes slowly relaxing. A couple of minutes slowly relaxing. Tone's going to improve. You're going to feel fitter. You're going to feel healthier. You're just going to feel so much better in yourself. In every possible way, your life's just going to get better every day. Your level of confidence and self-esteem are going to skyrocket. And you will begin to believe that you can achieve 
anything you want to in life. You're going to find that you sleep soundly and deeply every single night. And when you awake the following morning at the appointed time, you're going to feel completely relaxed, refreshed and restored, both mentally and physically. Feeling more alive, more full of life and confidence and bubbliness than you felt for many, many years. You're going to find that you've got tremendous willpower and that you do have the willpower to see this whole thing through easily and successfully. You're going to find it easy to think of yourself as a non-smoker. Easy to visualise yourself living a happy life as a non-smoker. One, starting to come around now, bringing your mind back to the present day. Two, starting to feel more alert, bringing your mind back to now. Three, starting to feel more awake. And four, getting ready. Five, taking a deep breath. And as you breathe out, very, very slowly open your eyes. And allow yourself to wake up and come around to full waking consciousness. Hello. All right. Give yourself a moment or two. When you're ready, you can just take your headphones.